What happened when I called Holland America Cruise Line to ask them if I could switch the date of our upcoming cruise or get a cruise credit for the future because my mom was suddenly hospitalized and put on life support? This video today is about why travel insurance is essential when booking a cruise. I'll share my own experience about cruise line cancellation policies and what happens if someone dies before or during a cruise and why it is so important to plan for the unexpected. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Kirk Tory story. My name is Tori and this video is a little more personal than usual because I've been going through something that no one ever plans for. A couple of weeks ago, my mom had been hospitalized and put on life support. And Kirk and I literally dropped everything and went to be with my mom, but we had the looming question in the back of our minds as to what would happen with the next set of cruises that we booked. We book and pay for several cruises months in advance as we live on ships. And it's hard to even think about cruising under these kinds of circumstances. But in moments like these, you're faced with questions you never thought you'd have to ask. What happens if I can't go on a trip anymore? Can I get my money back? What if the cruise line doesn't understand? So I called Holland America Cruise Lines, hoping that they'd offer some flexibility for us to reschedule or get a credit for a cruise that we could book in the future. But the answer was no to everything. No refund, no credit, and no option to reschedule. And since we had already paid in full 120 days before departure, there was no exception. Honestly, it felt like they didn't care and that they wanted to know what I was going to do so that they could resell our room and make double the money. Their response really made me think about things like, what if you don't buy travel insurance? Or worse, what happens if someone passes away just before or during the cruise that you're on? So here's the reality of many cruise lines cancellation policies, including Holland America's. If you cancel your cruise within 90 days of departure, you're not eligible for any refund, regardless of the circumstances. Even in the event of a death in the family, the policy still applies. In my case, I paid for the cruise, but if I chose to cancel, I'd lose all the money I've spent. And the cruise line, well, they can resell that cabin to another guest, effectively getting paid twice for the same room. Without travel insurance, you're just out of luck. And it's a harsh reality that many travelers face. Now, let me first assure you, I do have travel insurance, but this experience has shown me how vital it really is. You don't buy insurance expecting your mom or a loved one to suddenly pass away. We don't like to think about it, but life happens, and it can happen at the most unexpected times. If you're going to go on a cruise or any trip, insurance isn't just an option, it's essential. I wondered what if someone doesn't have insurance? What if they lose a loved one days or weeks before the cruise? Are they just expected to go on a cruise? What if they can't? And what happens if someone passes away on the ship itself? Who covers these costs? Does insurance take care of it? Or are loved ones left with the burden? Thankfully, we do have travel insurance, but this situation made us realize how many people don't think that they need it because they can't imagine something like the sudden death of a loved one happening. When you're planning a cruise, you're thinking about vacations, fun, relaxation, not these kinds of tragedies. But life doesn't always go according to plan, and travel insurance is the only safety net in those situations. If you don't have it, you could actually lose thousands of dollars. Now imagine this. What if a family member or friend you're traveling with passes away, or just days before your cruise? Or worse, what if someone dies while you're on the ship? It sounds like something out of a movie, but it does happen. And cruise lines are not obligated to provide refunds or credits for these circumstances either. If the person you're traveling with passes away, you might still be expected to go on the cruise unless you have insurance to cover these kinds of cancellations. 
And if someone dies on board the ship, the costs involved are staggering. Cruise lines have protocols in place for handling deaths at sea. They have the body storage areas, often referred to as the ship's morgue, and arrangements are made to repatriate the body back to the person's home country. However, these services are not free. Without travel insurance that includes medical emergency and repatriation coverage, the family may be left paying for the storage, transportation, and any medical services provided on board. It's important to know that these costs can really run into the thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars. This is why planning ahead and having comprehensive travel insurance is so crucial. No one ever wants to think about these things happening, but they do happen. Whether it's a medical emergency, a death in the family, or even an unexpected event, insurance is the only way to protect yourself financially. My mom sadly passed away and I'm grappling with the loss of my mother and the idea of going cruising feels a little hard to swallow and I'm not sure what I'll decide yet, but I do know that I'm glad I have travel insurance so I'm not left with only one painful option. My hope is that by sharing my story, more, more people will understand why it's so important to be prepared. So here's what I want you to take away from this. If you're planning to travel, especially on a cruise, make sure you have travel insurance. It's not just about flight delays or lost luggage or medical emergencies. It's about covering the unexpected. It's about protecting yourself and your loved ones in case the worst happens. And if my experience has taught me anything is that we need to be prepared for those what ifs. And for anyone else who's faced with a situation like this, my heart goes out to you. Grief and travel don't mix well, but sometimes life leaves us no choice. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.